So yesterday, one of the most hilarious situations I have ever seen took place in the House of Commons. In a violent melee yesterday in the House of Commons, our proud feminist prime minister violently struck Ruth Ellen Rousseau, an NDP member of parliament, and attempted to accost a conservative member of parliament. Trudeau was attempting to break through a throng of MPs after becoming embroiled in a heated debate over his assisted dying legislation. He did all this while allegedly yelling, get the f out of my way. So firstly, we've got this video of the incident. It seems Trudeau isn't quite out of his temper tantrum phase. Maybe the Conservatives were right with the he's just not ready yet ads. Miraculously, Brousseau wasn't killed by Trudeau's little outburst. It seemed like her internal bleeding was kept to a minimum. Brousseau did, however, claim that the emotional damage she suffered as a result of Trudeau's outburst rendered her unable to perform her parliamentary duty to vote on legislation. I thought our female leaders were supposed to be equal to men. Once again, our female politicians prove that having a vagina can compromise your ability to make a sound decision. Trudeau, of course, apologized profusely, saying that he did not intend to offend anyone as a result of his physical contact. But as a feminist, Trudeau should really know that this is basically rape. I can only imagine how much virtue signaling, half-hearted apologizing, and begging will be needed for Trudeau to keep his feminist credentials. In all seriousness, though, this incident is just about a non-issue. It has extraordinary parallels to the incident that occurred between Corey Lewandowski and Michelle Fields two months ago. In that incident, as well as this one, a relatively minor physical altercation was blown way out of proportion. I imagine that over the next several days, we'll be seeing op-eds all around the country talking about how traumatizing this was for Brousseau. As much as I dislike Trudeau, looking at this video, he didn't really do that much wrong. He does look a bit agitated and should try to at least moderate his temper tantrums in the future. But claiming he assaulted anyone in the house is a bit rich. There is a bit more to the story as well. Trudeau apologized profusely to the female NDP MP that he appeared to unintentionally bump into, but he didn't apologize at all to the male conservative MP that he intentionally grabbed. Justin Trudeau's feminism really knows no boundaries, not even personal boundaries. I'm tired of emotional weakness and people needing trigger warnings and safe spaces, but I'm just as tired of people being physically weak. You aren't toddlers, and I'm sure you've been bumped into in the streets or stubbed your toe before without calling Vice or BuzzFeed to complain. I just want to end on my favorite tweet of the day, authored by Andrew Coyne. Flash forward to 2086 and in a moving gesture of reconciliation, a future prime minister at last apologizes for the elbow incident. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.